What's going on guys? Um, so I finally got the uh, serial RX or serial uh, receive interrupts figure out, figured out. Um, at least this is for the Uno. Uh, like I said, these are um, these are board specific, so it may be a little bit different for the uh, the Mega that we have on the robot, but it shouldn't be too bit. It shouldn't be too different. So. I guess I'm just going to skip all this and start with um, why it's important. So right now this is the serial event. Um, I've got it set to the old school uh, serial event mode, which is part of the Arduino uh, environment or uh, framework. And the way that it works is at the end of every loop, um, well, I guess the first thing it does behind the scenes is it sets up the interrupts whenever you call serial.begin. So it'll set up the interrupt and as you're chugging through this main loop, you may receive a uh, byte over the serial port and it'll put it in a buffer. And then um, when it gets to the end of this loop, it will take that buffer and it's you know it's like first in first out um, it'll take the each byte starting from the beginning and it will call this routine it will call serial event for each character until the buffer is empty and then it will go back to the loop so I'm going to show you what kind of problems this, this can cause. Um, so this is a serial monitor. I'm just going to copy this bit of text from some stuff I was reading. And I've got it set to echo. It will echo um, inside of the serial event regardless of what's going on at the very end. It will echo the byte it received. Now this echo function is at the register level, so I think back to embedded systems and the uh, MSP430. Uh, so, but like you can still use this, um, you can use the URTX while you use the serial begin. It'll still work. It, they may conflict, but the, it'll still work. So if I paste it right here, it should echo back this big old long line of text. It's a lot of characters. This is a really slow ball rate, mind you. So it starts off good. Neither oscillator is good enough to build an alarm clock. Or yeah, a clock designed what? So what's happening here is, I would say maybe that's about 32 characters, and then we get about halfway through this one. Anyways, the buffer fills up, and uh, this is this is the junk that you get. So the main culprit is that our loop, our main loop, is running kind of slow. Um, we're using 9600 baud, so 9600 bits per second divided by however many bits makes up a byte, so that's 8 plus 1 for the start bit. We're not using parity and we're using one stop bit. That'll tell us how many bytes per second. So yeah, it's clocking pretty fast. So you're talking like it, you know, you could saturate the serial link, which is a pretty slow ball rate, with almost a thousand uh, bytes per second. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So to fix it, it's pretty much just like embedded systems you got to go to the manu 
you know, for me, I looked on the uh, Arduino Uno that I'm using, and I saw that it has a 18 mega. Uh, I forget what this is. Oh no, I lost my point. Oh, that's no good. No, I've lost my place. Oh, this is the, the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. This was the light one. This is the light version, the summary. You got to watch out for these. 51 pages. That's bullshit. Real data sheet be like 300 pages. Keep that in mind. <laughs> that screwed me up for a while. So in this one, check the bookmarks. Whoa, this is looking like a textbook. Yo, you are US start zero. Gives you a block overview. Should look super duper familiar. And yes, you do have to go through all this in order to use uh, an interrupt. But it's worth it. So yeah, so, you know, we went to the interrupt section, or the uh, UART section, it gave us a block diagram, couple pages, but before too long, you're going to run into some, whoop, example code. And so this is how you handle UART at the register, or the hardware register level. And yes, it will work for Arduinos. Um, the trick, the trick is this, you got to include AVR interrupt.h and avrio.h and so it shows you how to set up the baud rate you know set the high register for the baud rate the low register for the baud rate um, and then it uses this um, so this one is like it's got a bunch of enable flags so this uh, enables the receiver and the transmitter if you look at my uh, init function, I have one extra thing here. So I do the same thing, enable receiver, enable transmitter. I also enable this, um, the receiver interrupt. So, and then the, the UCS or whatever C is equal to, or it just sets your frame. So it says like, the number of stop bits, uh, US uh, stop bit, and then it sets the, uh, this is the data packet size. So eight data, so you have eight, basically a byte, and two stop bits. And so I basically just copy that stuff over here and figured out that because I'm, I mean, and this is only because I'm using the Arduino IDE, right? So uh, you have to call this function, this interrupts. Uh, it, what this will is this uh, just sets, it enables the global interrupt flag, I believe. I don't know, but there's another one that disables it, but we're gonna leave it enabled for there. Um, the only other legit hiccup I ran into was this guy right here, FOSC. The hell is that? I defined it up here, and it's just literally the clock speed. Now the Arduino is advertised at 16 megahertz, and that's where I copied this thing over here from. So I copied, uh, I was looking over here to see if I could get a few more digits <laughs> If I could get a few more digits, please, that would be nice, you know. So I got some ranges right here for some like like their Pro Mini. And I have no idea what the heck this thing is. I do know that this is the same chip. So I'm assuming it's about the same. But um But yeah. That's what that was all about. So that's basically it. We just switched from using the serial stuff 
to the uh, register level UART stuff, which it the issue, and this is a, this is this is a pain in the butt. We're not using a programmer, so we can't do step through debugging. We can't like inspect what the value of certain variables are, you know, during each step. We're limited to serial debugging, which means that in the only way to debug an Arduino is to serial dot print everything, and um, we just by doing it this way, you're you're basically throwing out the ability to easily print stuff, which hampers the debugging process. So that's the reason I left this for last in terms of the uh, Arduino code. It's one of those things you have to keep in mind. Um, but in order to enable it, we will, I think I should have it in my undo history here. Yeah. I think that's it. So instead of using the serial that began to initialize everything, we're using this uh, register level initialization. And then uh, instead of a serial event, we've just attached the uh, ISR. So we'll upload this guy. Open the serial monitor, copy the same bit of text, check this out. So neither oscillator is good enough to build an alarm clock. A clock designed to run in at exactly 16 megahertz would gain 9 seconds, blah 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 blah, looking good, looking good. Look at that. That's sharp. That's what you want. That's why we got to use interrupts, and that's why you got to go through it. Arduino is great. Interrupts are better. You guys take it easy.